Let's explore the 1936 movie These Three. Get ready for a mix of emotions as it brings humor, surprises, and heartbreak. Are there any less known facts or interesting stories about this film that catch your attention? Stick around to find some surprising details. The movie engages viewers with its simple yet strong storytelling. It dives into the complexities of human relationships, dealing with love, jealousy, and betrayal with realness. But beyond what you see on the screen, there are interesting bits waiting to be discovered. As the story unfolds, you'll find yourself in a world filled with funny, shocking, and touching moments. The actors give outstanding performances, making each character feel alive and relatable even after many years. Now, let me ask you, do you have a special memory or personal experience connected to this movie? Share your thoughts with us. So, grab your popcorn and get ready for an unforgettable journey with this timeless classic. There's a lot more to explore beneath the surface. Keep watching to uncover the layers of the story. These Three, a movie released in 1936, is a compelling story filled with humor, surprises, and heartbreak. Set in a quaint town, it explores the tangled webs of human relationships, delving into themes of love, jealousy, and betrayal with authenticity. The plot unfolds with a series of funny, shocking, and touching moments, drawing viewers into a captivating narrative. At the center of the story are three main characters, two women and a man. Their interactions drive the plot forward, revealing the complexities of their emotions and the consequences of their actions. As the story progresses, viewers witness the evolution of their relationships and the conflicts that arise. The actors deliver outstanding performances, breathing life into their roles and making each character feel relatable and genuine. Through their portrayals, the audience becomes invested in the characters' journeys, experiencing their joys and sorrows firsthand. Throughout its runtime, these three keeps viewers engaged with its rich storytelling and memorable characters. It has garnered critical acclaim and achieved several milestones, solidifying its place as a timeless classic in cinema history. Alfred Newman, the composer of the score for these three, later reused the main theme in the 1946 film The Razor's Edge. Benita Granville, naturally blonde, dyed her hair brown for her role in the movie to portray a darker and more evil character. Legend has it that when it was suggested the play couldn't be filmed due to the characters being lesbians, Samuel Goldwyn proposed making them Austrian instead. These anecdotes add layers to the production history of the film, offering insights into the creative decisions made behind the scenes. These three continues to captivate audiences with its timeless themes and memorable characters, showcasing the enduring power of classic cinema. In a noteworthy scene from the movie, Margaret Hamilton delivers a resounding slap to Benita Granville, prompting cheers and applause from the audience. The story itself was suggested to writer Lillian Hellman by her life partner Dashiell Hamlantrit, who stumbled upon the tale in a book of true crime stories. Interestingly, director William Wyler revisited the narrative in 1961, creating a remake titled The Children's Hour, which retained the lesbian theme. In this rendition, Miriam Hopkins, who portrayed Martha Doby in the original, took on the role of Lily Mortar. These instances provide glimpses into the creative process and adaptations surrounding the film. Such insights enrich the understanding of its historical and cinematic significance. In the farmhouse scene, Martha discovers old newspapers from 50 years ago hidden beneath the wallpaper she's removing, a camelantern practice back then to smooth rough walls. Despite the lesbian theme of the original play, the Hayes office prohibited its mention in the movie, leading to a title change from the lie to these three. However, the film's dialogue closely mirrors that of the play The Children's Hour, on which it is based. Alfred Newman, the composer, repurposed the main theme for another film, The Razor's Edge, while Benita Granville altered her appearance by dyeing her naturally blonde hair brown for her role. Legend has it that Samuel Goldwyn proposed changing the characters to Austrian to bypass censorship objections. Margaret Hamilton's memorable slap scene garnered applause from the audience, and the story itself originated from Lillian Hellman's partner, Dashiell Hamleintritt, who stumbled upon it in a book of true crime stories. Director William Wyler later revisited the narrative in a remake titled The Children's Hour, with Miriam Hopkins reprising a role. These anecdotes enrich our understanding of the film's creative process and adaptations. The play These Three premiered on Broadway in New York City on November 20, 1934, with Anne Revere as Martha Doby, Catherine Emery as Karen Wright, and Robert Keith as Dr. Joseph Carden. The show did really well, running for 691 performances.
Director William Wyler initially wanted Leslie Howard for the main role, but Joel McCrea got it instead, causing some tension. Lillian Hellman, who wrote the play, changed it for the movie version because she thought the main problem was the harm caused by rumors, not the rumors themselves. The story looks at how gossip can mess up relationships in a small town. To avoid problems with censorship, the movie's producer, Samuel Goldwyn, suggested making the characters Austrian. This helped the film deal with the restrictions of the time. The music for the movie, composed by Alfred Newman, had a theme that later appeared in another film called The Razor's Edge. Benita Granville, who naturally had blonde hair, dyed it brown for her role to match the character's personality. The idea for the story came from true crime tales told to Lillian Hellman by her partner, Dashiell Hamlantrit. The scene where Martha finds old newspapers under wallpaper adds a bit of history to the film. Director William Wyler made a new version of the story in 1961 called The Children's Hour, which still had the lesbian theme. Miriam Hopkins, who played Martha Doby in the original, played a different part this time, showing how the story changed over the years. The movie remains popular because it shows relationships in a simple way brought to life by great acting. The story is easy to understand and can be told in different ways, making these three important in movie history. The Lux Radio Theater aired an hour-long adaptation of the movie on December 6, 1937, featuring Alma Kruger and Marsha Mee Jones reprising their roles from the film. Director William Wyler helmed four films, including these three, The Heiress and Carrie, which all received Academy Award nominations. The play drew inspiration from a real-life case in Edinburgh, Scotland, in 18810, involving schoolteachers Jane Peary and Marion Woods, falsely accused of a scandalous affair by a student under her grandmother's influence, leading to a libel suit and the eventual closure of their school. In the 1936 movie These Three, there's a part where Mary convinces Rosalie to give her 225, which today would be like 4247. Later, Mary doesn't feel well, so Agatha suggests she try rhubarb and soda, a camelantrin remedy for stomach aches back then. It's made of rhubarb, baking soda, sugar syrup, and peppermint water. In 1952, before the Broadway revival of the play, Lillian Hellman threw a fancy party. Patricia Neal met her future husband, Roald Dahl, at that party. They got married nine months later, which adds a romantic twist to the play's history. In 1962, William Wyler made a new version of the story called The Children's Hour, sticking closer to the original theme. Miriam Hopkins, who played Martha Doby in the first version, played a different character this time, showing how the story changed over time. These stories help us understand how the movie was made and changed over the years. Despite facing challenges from censorship, the movie still holds value for its portrayal of human relationships and memorable characters.